Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas of yours truly Lotus and Dirty Man. Rex is parking at something. I can't climb stairs. And it's night time, almost. I found the intruder! Hello, David. Okay, so the light machine gun is pretty effective. It's good to know. Sorry, David. Sheet music book, nice. It's actually pretty valuable. Probably has a purpose to the oh. Did it just level up like recently? I guess it must be the whole effect of that one perk we got. Anyway, let's see. I think I want more barter. Let's go full 50 with that. Because barter. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And then melee weapons and uh, a little bit more in the way of being sneaky. Continue. And then I think I wanted a very specific perk over here. Which is tolerable. Your movement speed is greatly increased while sneaking in light armor. Thank you very much. Hey, there might be goods in there. Like other than the sheet. Yeah, this trunk here. Uh, primarily ammo. Then I'll take it. Repair note number three. I haven't fought the previous repair notes yet. Is there another one over here somewhere? Nope. What does it say? Uh. Repair note number three. Rhonda made me angry, so I threw this. No, it doesn't seem to work. Please fix. Oh, well, that's pleasant. Because we are still under the assumption that Rhonda is just a part of uh, David's mind. Was anyway at this point. Storage building. Oh. Treasure hunt? To whom it may concern you. We got some pretty good uh, stuff from the last raid, and then, like last time, I don't want any incidents. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. If you can read this, you have my permission to use any items you can find. Stuff I hit missile launcher, three missiles, three bricks of C4, three, five frag grenades, one super stick back, various hammer, a benevolent supreme overlord, that'd be fine. Well, if she's fine with us finding the goods... Where is that missile? Because I see a missile. I don't see a missile. And let's check the circuitry. You're quickly certain that the robot's current AI set, state is set to hibernate, like the self-defense mechanism. After the unit suffers catastrophic damage, however, but it probably didn't know how to reset its AI. After flipping the right switch, this robot jumps to life. <laughs> Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? I hate to tell you, but Tabitha's dead. And I suppose you're taking credit for the deed, Fiend? I will avenge her! Sorry. Well, you need to repair the bugger. Bu bu I don't know, maybe if we hadn't killed Tabitha before we got here. We could have resolved this peacefully somehow. Oh, that that have been neat. But sadly, that's not what I, what I did. I I just killed Mr. Handy by the name of Ronda, as well as Tabitha by the name of Tabitha. Yeah, that happened. Taking more reward money, sure. Okay, that's the super steam pack that we were looking for. And what else do we have? Empty foot tucker, trunk. Grab everything from there, why not? And Ronda Bobber doesn't know anything about the loot that's been hidden. That's the missile launcher. I could probably use it to repair Annabelle. Oh, well, we're all burdened. So, uh, Annabelle? Here, I have some repairs. I'm sure, you'll like them. Uh, how heavy is the light machine gun? Uh, pretty heavy. But it's lighter than the Thermic Lance that I'm also carrying, so... I really need to go find somewhere I can sell the shit. Okay, what's in here? More ammo. 
Impact Garden Gnome. Damaged Garden Gnomes. Another trunk. So, what were the. There were. Five frag grenades. Which we still haven't found. Like, we haven't even found a single one yet. They're all supposed to be in here somewhere. Like where, where can they even be by that point? Did you put some inside containers? Was the missile I found a stack of three? You know what? This treasure hunt wasn't all exactly the sort of stuff I really need anyway, so uh, let's carry on. Uh, how do we get inside this building? Right over here. The prison. Ooh, time to make some stim packs, I believe. Ah, it's no longer the ne needless amount of. What does this say? Entry one. As if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Debita wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. So here's my first log entry. I fixed up several old terminals that were left over in the intact building, buildings here. I wonder what she's preparing to use them for. Apparently the mutants raided the caravan today. One of the rifles jammed. Took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could have just pulled a switch there and taken the Sackhurst station off the air. No doubt she would have killed me soon after that, but it might have been worth it just to see the look on her face. The mutant with the scar across his face, whom I've taken to calling Cuddles, stopped in the day and asked me to fix his car. I told him that outside my expertise and seriously thought he was going to kill me. I tried to escape today, David had one of her men beat me senseless when they caught me, now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not working on something. Oh, and I fixed the toaster. Cuddles came in about his car again, he even brought a container of gas and asked if that would help. I tried to tell him that gas was not the problem, but he got really angry and dragged me outside to have to kill him herself before things got too ugly. I at least did not have to hear about this damn guy anymore. Debita came in today and said she's concerned about my safety, she's insisted that I change the lock on my door to require a password, using one of the other computers I fixed, and really started to regret ever fixing those. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like anyone who cares will ever read this. Oh, that's convenient. Oh well. That's some missing XP for me. Hello, Raul. Raul or Raul? I've heard so many different pronunciations for the name, so I don't really know which one you use, sir. You know, I just loot about. Don't worry about me. There is really a lot of loot, is there? There's some noodles. Took you long enough, so can I go now? Eh. Sure. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. No, uh, too much to take along with me Anything's instead. better than staying here. Let's go. Oh. Uh, Remember how I said I wanted to grab more along with me? And here's Ron. So I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. That's nice. Uh, tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Who are you? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Well, then why does his jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Hmm, makes sense. Alright, uh, I want to ask you something else about yourself. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out. But I'm an open book. Where are you from? I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. Hmm. Anything else? I'm an open yeah, so, how do you end up on Black Mountain? Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't, but I'm just a broke down old man. But how did David find you in the first place? Eh, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast. 
just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped, so I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around permanently. Yeah, that can happen. Uh, anything else? I'm a so, how old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. Of course. I'm an old. That's what happens when you're born before the war. And uh, what's Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Uh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. Okay. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. Let me talk more later. Anything you say, boss. Nifty. Alright, so now I'm stuck with five people. No. I shot him in the bump. I shot him straight up the bump. Who are we fighting? Why are there so many combatants? So I guess they must have been Nightkin that slipped past my guard initially. No, oh, and we didn't actually plant the uh, thing that the Brotherhood said we're here for. So um, let's go do that. Lots of companions to push myself through. Quite a bit too many, I believe. We should go get Cassandra as well, which is cool. Um, where do I set it? Here? Yeah, okay. Cool. And then what else do we have in this particular place that we need to worry about? Quests? Oh well, we apparently managed to crazy, crazy, crazy because we killed David then. So that's that over with. Uh, I guess we can go back and report to Namara then. Yeah. I think that will allow... Oh, come on, you're still using the sand system? Like for a permanent night to cover? Who are you attacking? No one I can see. That's the scorpion. I guess Rex will Rex them. Let's dance. But someone is requesting dance lessons now. Or if not lessons, uh, some practice anyway. Uh, I can't really see much in this mess. I think we found the bunker. So at least there's that. Nice. Also, the light machine gun has served me well. I think I'll keep it. Around 4 when plus range combat things. Also known as when I don't really want to waste my sniper ammo. Yeah. Pretty much. Surely there must be some other place I can get more from. Or I just need to learn how to actually buy the required pieces for making these things work. Alright, and after this we need to go to Helios 1, I think, because that's where the station seems to be. Hello? Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Yeah. I installed the device up at Black Mountain as instructed. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then. It is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Sure. Don't they just put it on? If only it were that simple. Think of power armor as a machine to be operated, rather than clothing you'd wear. With a little instruction, using it becomes as natural as simple movement. But to the ignorant, it's just so much heavy junk. So let's bring you up to speed, shall we? Please do. 
First, let's go over how to put it on. Well, I'm more encumbered than a cat, one. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Excellent. I think that should probably make it easier for us to do the whole uh, deal. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? It's not a dress. It's a different set of armor. I'm not sure if it's identical to the one you have already. I just need to browse down to it. Yeah, it's the one you're already wearing. Except it's like really broken versions. I'm gonna take these back and I'm gonna repair them for you and then you can have them back again. <laughs> because hell if I'm carrying this much shit. There we go. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Still not a dress. Sorry. We will eventually get your dress, I'm sure. Yeah, probably going to be troublesome to get your dress, but you, you'll get your dress, honest. Okay, and then we head to the gun runners, I think. First things off. First things first, even. Yeah, sell more of the shit I'm carrying. Uh, then we need to go to my suit. Uh, deposit some of the shit I'm carrying. And then we also need to look into... Um. Ah, yes, heal is one. That's the one. Heal is one. The one. Yes. Oh, is this where they, they put my armor? Nice. I'm still not going to use it. I'm still not using it there, so it's largely relevant, but. Uh, it, what's, what's my current weapon loadout? Huh. Well, um, you'll be number five now. Because we got the achievement for that thing. Oh, wait. You need a gun skill of 100 to be used effectively? Oh, shit, dude. I need quite a really nice stamp. Uh, what is my gun skill anyway? I haven't upgraded that in ages. 75. Maybe I should be thinking that. Uh, Okay, status, nope, not status, road map. There we go. And pop me over into the gun runners. Nice. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Maybe. I am ready to process our transaction. Awesome. Uh, and I'll take it. By which I mean I'll take your caps. Goodbye. Okay, let's go see if I can grab anything in regards of uh, more power, power, which I mean, let's see if we can go upgrade my stuff, by which I mean, let's see if I have the capacity for more uh, implants, like, I don't know what stat we might, might be missing in that regard. Because I know I upped quite a few of them, didn't I? But I don't remember which one I may have skipped for whatever reason. Oh god, sunlight right in my eye. I hadn't recorded this early in the morning for quite a while, so I forgot that was actually a something to worry about at all. Wow. Alright, so, where was the medical place anyway? It wasn't this street, right? Was it the one over here? Yeah, there we go. Hey. Hello, Doc. Get up. Get up. 
I need plants. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Uh, can I want another? Have another All right. one? Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. Nope. I'm afraid. Okay. Sure. Bye. Take care. I was afraid that might happen. Honestly, I was. But I decided to ignore the possibility. Okay. Get up, boss. Why was this guy like this far into this whole thing? Alright then, and then to the top of the strip to deposit all of the unique weapons I've got. And maybe grab that gun for reasons. Just in case we get in situations where we need to kill a lot of robots. Where to, partner? My room. Thank you. Now, where was my weapon storage? My weapon storage was... Hmm? Well, I keep my stuff in my room, don't I? Yeah, here's my weapon trunk. Here are a lot of unique weapons. So I'm gonna put some more in here, like Annabelle. And the broad machete. And Nefiskov trial. The meta modulator. And then I'm gonna put some of the stuff in the wardrobe as well. Uh, namely, probably chest. A lot of port suits, isn't that? Yeah, I think it is. Vault 11, Vault 21, Vault 22, Vault 3, in the utility. Yeah. That'll do. Let's see. Just old shit. Nothing here either. Here's my bed. What's in this small room? A pre war one, eh? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, it is morning, never mind. So, uh, I'll just go with thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard.